right, guys, welcome back to Acrylic Painting with me, Julie E. If you're just joining us for the first time, welcome, 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 and please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, so what this is, is I did a live Wednesday night with Tish Winter over on the Artist Haven on Wednesday night called Artapalooza. And I am testing out a cloud pearl recipe using um, color place house paint in a satin enamel, which is water based, um, in place of Deco Art Americana and Decor um, satin enamels in order to get the cloud, cloud pearl effect. And it's working out pretty well. But yeah, this is the first run, this is the first test of it. Uh, the color palette that I'm using is Dioxazine Violet by Creative Ex Inspirations, which you can get at Jerry's Artorama. Um, Arteza Pearl Pistachio Green, Amethyst, um, Arteza Pearl Amethyst, and also Arteza Pearl Cactus Green. So um, I test it out on a tile first just to see if I get a few pearls starting and stuff. And if it works on the tile, then I move on to a canvas and I will do um, what I call the tilting test. And I tilt it and see if it will start to pearl during the tilt. And usually if it pearls during a tilt on a canvas, I know that it's going to tilt to um, pearl up during a blowout. So that's what you're seeing here is just me testing out a new recipe for the first time on this live. And that's why you see the cords hanging down once in a while. You'll see me flail my arm around while I'm like waving into the camera to say hi to somebody. Um, <laughs> so, but yeah, here we go. We're tilting and tilting and tilting and stretching and stretching and stretching, getting as much paint off that canvas as possible. And yeah, there's the magic starting to happen. It's working and I'm just so excited about it. Um, so yeah, we move on and move to a little eight inch heart and we do a little eight inch heart blowout and that was just beautiful to look at too. I love doing the heart blowouts. There's just something about it with the um, cloud pearl that um, it, it almost looks like it's, you, you can look at it both two ways. It looks like it's either disintegrating, like it's being blown by the wind and kind of pieces are breaking off and blowing away which is kind of like how I see it, or I guess you could see that, you know, it's sucking life back into itself and trying to become whole again. I don't know, <laughs> but they're fun to do and they're beautiful to look at. So yeah, I really enjoy them. And so yeah, here we go. And just taking the little Berta Mini, going over it. And we're going to redo this heart. And there's a reason we have to redo this heart, and it was my own fault, my own absent-mindedness. So, and I'll explain it here in a second. Hey guys, we're back, and I think I stumbled upon a really good recipe using the Color Place um, house paint from Walmart. And um, it is, well, I'll put it at the end of the video <laughs> and I'll also list it in the description, but it's not too expensive. And I tested it out on Artapalooza Wednesday night over on the Artist Haven channel and I got some pretty good results. Uh, I'm not getting the weird, funky, triple, quadruple clover shaped cells um, like I did with Chernobyl. I uh, tested it out on a tile first before I moved to a canvas, but I forgot to shut my overhead fan off and the AC and everything, and I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I got some pretty heavy duty caving there where the 
paint was thick. I didn't blow all that off like I should have. And I got a little bit of separation in through here and stuff from it just drying way too fast. So, yeah, <laughs> you gotta think of all those things. So, I messed up. I probably fix this with paintbrush, hopefully. Fingers crossed, we'll try. But until then, I'm gonna use the same color palette on a slightly bigger heart. I believe this is a 10 inch heart. This one was an eight inch. And, um, you know, I'm gonna show you my screw ups just as much as I'm gonna show you my successes. That's just who I am. I don't try and pretend like everything is always oh, gorgeous and great. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to, how to do that. So yeah, that one cracked and I'm not happy about it. So um, yeah, we're gonna, Try that one again and you get a close up of it this time and some side angles of it. And I will go ahead and list the recipe for this in the description, like I said, what umpteen times. So we're just gonna start out with our house paint base. This is what's going to get that really cloudy look and hopefully give us some really pretty um, cloudy pearls. That's what we're hoping for, cloudy, pretty pearls. Let me just tilt that all off. There we go. And we're gonna tilt as much of it off as possible. I'm just gonna go around the edges real good, because this is, an odd shaped canvas so it gets some of those puckers especially around the arch tops of the heart so I just want to work that in real good to the canvas I do have it taped off and back and I have push pins in so but yeah I'm just gonna go back over and around to try and give a little bit more coverage on these there we go Tilt, 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 tilt. And over. There we go. And then bring it back down. Back down. There we go. And now over this way. Away. Okay, let me rinse my hands. So I'm just going to put a little bit right around here so that I get some movement when I blow my paints. That's just to add a little bit of thickness. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna start with my darkest color first. Oh, there's a little hair. Come on. There we go, got it. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna start with my darkest color first because usually those are the ones that are opaque. So that way any Translucent, semi-translucent can um, show better on top of it, but it will also, because of the darkness, give it some good depth. So there, a little bit more right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna go with my darkest green. I believe this is the Cactus Pearl Green by Arteza. And I don't remember what this one is. It's pretty though. Um, oh, Pearl Amethyst. 
by Arteza. Another gorgeous color. There we go. And then this one is Pearl Pistachio Green. I do love this color palette. It has such a beautiful hydrangea color when it's blown out. Okay, I'm going to start with my Berta Mini and I'm going to start it on low first. And first we're going to blow everything towards the center, then we're going to blow our edges over the edge, and then we're going to come back in and extend our wispies out into the negative space. Okay, does that make any sense? I hope so. <laughs> back up onto high. gonna let it sit and let it do its magic. <laughs> you see them all coming up. Yay! This is the part I love. change much anymore. Um, let's take some close-up looks. But yeah, look at that. How pretty is that? Look at those cells. Much better. Oh, that shimmer. I love our Tessa Pearl paints. I really do. And I think this kind of combination is perfect if you want the color for hydrangeas. It's really, really gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, I'm loving this. Okay, um, go ahead and give you the recipe, and then we'll come back and have dry results after the recipe back in a flash. And these are all the ingredients that I used. Um, we've got, 
my cat. We've got my cat. No, my cat is not part of the recipe. Be right back. Okay, hopefully he's done. Um, we've got 2.5 ounces of the Color Place White Satin Enamel, one ounce of the Apple Barrel White, also from Walmart. Please make sure to get the um, matte acrylic paint, not the craft acrylic. Um, then we have one ounce of the Artist Loft Soft Body right here. And then we have, where is it? A half an ounce of the Vallejo Pearl Medium. Mix that together. That should give you five ounces of paint. Now to that five ounces of paint, you add two ounces of GAC 800, two ounces of Floetrol, and one ounce of Liquitex pouring medium. I use the one with the green label, the gloss medium. That's the one I use. And then you mix that up. Then you add approximately two ounces of purified water. All right, then these are the colors we're gonna be using. The colors are mixed differently. They have a completely different pouring medium. The pouring medium is Floetrol and Liquitex pouring medium, the same green label Liquitex pouring medium. Mix that 50-50 and then put in about, um, oh, 10% GAC. So yeah, if you've got 100 ounces of this pouring medium, then you would put in 10 ounces of GAC. So yeah, 10 ounces of this pouring medium one ounce of GAC. That's how that recipe works. And then we add water to thin. Um, it is one part paint, one part this pouring medium, and then water to thin. That's that easy. Hey guys, we're back with dry results. Look at that shimmer. Whoa, blinding glare off those metallic shimmery pearly. Oh, just so yummy. How gorgeous are all those colors together? Great palette, great palette. And yes, we're back here in the pollen balm that is my backyard. <laughs> Look at that, I don't know if you can see those. Let's see, aren't those beautiful? My friend Janice made those for me. They are so gorgeous, love them. Yes, I have a little mini garden set up and growing back there. I have tomatoes, zucchini, and squash, and then I have little trays of lettuce starting to grow on my baker's rack back there. But, yeah. But yeah, yay. It's so pretty. So pretty. Dried gorgeous. I put it under a picnic net and then threw a towel over the top of the picnic net to make sure that no air currents got to it at all this time while it was drying because I did not want it to split like the smaller one did and yep okay um right after me is Lance Travis pouring together with Lance Travis please go check out his premiere and then right after Lance Travis we've got Angie Mason fluid art and then we've got Kristen and Kayla after her um with k, &K create so Go check out their channels. I'll have links for all of them in the description. And let me know what you think of the new um, Walmart Color Place um, house paint in place of the Deco Art Americana satin enamel. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Because I'm a fan. I am definitely a fan. Okay, loves and hugs, y'all. Bye!